All right. What do you got to say about this stupid area, you stupid future dog that from the back kind of looks like a Triceratops dog? We're at the center of Shibuya Woods. No signal here, either. Either? He didn't even check. Oh, no. I was like, he's not a, he hasn't even checked yet. So how do they know? But, dude, I know how to get to the secret area. But it'll probably take me all the way around the map because I feel like they're trying to wind up and show you the entire map now that you're nearing the end of the story. All right, next I've specified a new pro point. Let's head over there now. It's probably at Yam Yamanote, or it's Yoyogi Park. Is it at Yoyogi? Okay, it's at Yamanote Line West. I was like, I'm so betting that it's either going to be at Yoyogi Park or Yamanote. Oh, dude. I hope this hyena likes getting one-shotted to death because this is what's going to happen. Too bad I didn't one-shot that cheetah to death. I think it was my... Ooh. I was like, you know, technically, it doesn't even matter if I get a clean kill on this loser. Oh, except for this guy. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna call the friends. Did he get the call off? Did he get the call of the wild starring Jack London, aka written by Jack London? Urgh. You know what I'm thinking about uh, Call of the Wild right now? It's because this whole last week I was on a road trip with my brother and my dad to go visit some family. And, uh, oh, don't call. And all he had was a tape player in his car, so we had to listen to books on tape for entertainment. And my parents don't have a lot of books on tape, so we had to listen to Call of the Wild by Jack London. I know, cool story, right? Except for it's like the most boring thing I could possibly talk about is the fact that I had to listen to Call of the Wild by Jack London. It's actually not a bad book. We also listened to A River Runs Through. That was way better than Call of the Wild, though. And those were all the books they had. Cool. Eat that. Eat that, bitch. Yeah, actually, so I wasn't, um, over the past week, I, I got a lot of comments that I wasn't able to respond to, because I try and respond to comments as much as possible, usually, but just because I was out of town, and there was no internet anywhere, like, seriously, um, my brother's house, who we were visiting, I have, like, a bunch of brothers, we were visiting my brother's house, they had no internet at his place, um, because... He was actually building his house simultaneously while his family was, like, living in it. And so I couldn't use internet there. The motel that we were staying at didn't have working internet. And the whole time we were there, I was we were either at the motel or at my brother's house. Uh, working on, like, putting the electrical in and stuff. And so I never got a chance to get to a computer, which another unfortunate result of that was um, PAX East tickets went on sale this weekend, and I was planning on purchasing a three-day pass to, to PAX East, and by the time I got back from our trip, um, the three-day passes were sold out, but I was like, I'm not going to cancel my whole trip just because I can't get a three-day pass. Oh, what is coming after me? Oh my, what the, what the, what? That's a potato gun. Oh my gosh. Dude, I'm gonna fight this thing. I'm a robot now. I ain't no lowly... I ain't no lowly female lion. Oh, maybe I can't fight this thing. Maybe I should... just... get away. No, I think the game wants me to fight it because... Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, wow, that move is kind of tough to dodge, but look at that. Dude, we got this thing. Okay, this... we gotta be careful. I can dodge this move. I know I can dodge it. It's just about... Really good timing. Okay. Well, maybe not. Oh, man. Do I have pet food or anything that will heal me? Oh, this is really bad. Oh, man. Luckily, the robot's life gets restored kind of quickly, actually. All right. Come at me one more time, buddy. Oh, ooh. Dude, come on. There we go. Let's see if I can get the dodge. Oh, Oh, look, he's going after a different animal. That's perfect. Oh, except for now, that hyena's going to come after me, probably. Okay, here we go. Okay, there we go. Oh, whatever. We got... Man! The, dude, this... This Pterodanodan... This Pterodan... This Pterodon is ruining me! Right. Oh, come on, come after me! Alright. I guess... He can't come at you when you're in the grass, so I just have to go from grass to grass. I really want to beat him, though. Like, seriously. Whatever. Yeah, he lost my scent. Whatever. Sorry if you're viewing right now and you were really hoping that I was going to take out a dinosaur. 
It ain't gonna happen. Except for, whoa, they're all over the place. Holy cow, I gotta, I really gotta run here if I wanna get away from these things. And there's, okay, we're not getting the crocodile. Fight, hopefully, oh my gosh. Even as a robot, this could, this looks like it could get pretty bad for me. Hopefully we can get the crocodile to fight the pterodon. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Cool, all right, get in here. Hyenas, hyenas are not a problem. And I don't see any reason the pterodon should be able to attack me while I'm in here. Oh, but what the, oh man. Okay, that crocodile is like glitched against that wall. I want the crocodile to fight the pterodon. Wouldn't that be just a blessing right now? Come on. Crocodile, fight the pterodon. It is, it's happening. Okay, let's just move. Oh my gosh. Dude, the jungle's really gotten wild. Luckily I can see the pterodons on the map because they're the flying triangles. Alright. And I can totally avoid them too. My theory about the grass, I think, was... Yep. It was correct Mundo. So I just gotta stay in the grass. Wow, this is wild. What just saw me? I don't even know what just saw me, but we're just gonna stay in the grass and hope that my other dog... Oh my gosh, he's on me again! Ugh. Okay, forget it. I can't beat the pterodon. I don't think he'll come after me when I... Oh no, he totally will. That was... I don't even know what would make me think that he's not gonna come after me. But we lost him again. It looks like we're out of their territory. And we got some nice animals that can provide me with more food, which I'm still not 100% sure how that works, but it does, so who cares? Oh, no oh crap. Is there, there's gotta be a way I can dodge that thing's stupid move. It really doesn't look like it, though. Like, it looks like the intention is for you just to stay the hell away from the pterodon. Oh, crap. Thought I lost that bitch. I can't even see his triangle on the map anymore. That's not fair. Ah! Uh! What else is on me? I hope it's still just the... the pterodon. Alright, hyenas. Ah, isn't it just a relief to see animals that you can kill because they're not flying? Oh, what's outside though right now? That is gonna call more things, apparently. I don't know. Oh, it's hyenas. Okay. Well, so now, guess what? I'm gonna have like a hundred hyenas inside the train with me. Perfect. As long as I can get some nice evade dodging in, Keep them from getting too much behind me. Oh, alright. There we go, look at this! Oh, oh I got that evade, but it didn't count it. Alright, whatever. Ooh. Here, check this. I'm gonna wreck these hyenas. They don't even know what's coming. These hyenas are just like the hyenas in Lion King. Stupid! And under the control of Scar. In this case, Scar, instead of being a lion, is a dinosaur. Is a, is a pterodon. But look, we made it! And it's probably going to send me to one more zone. It's probably going to send me to Yo-Yogi Park West. Hopefully. Or East. It's West. West is definitely the one that it is going to send me to. Unless I'm wrong. I could be wrong. I don't know. We are near Harajuku now. Harajuku. Well, anything yet? Harajuku? It's like those girls with the bright clothes that people make fun of. And also, Gwen Stefani got an alternate line of kids' clothing at Target of... Why do I know that? It's because I work at Target. It's weak, but I'm picking up a signal. It seems we're slowly getting near. I've specified the next pro point. Let's go. Where have all the people gone? Modern man no longer exists at this point of space-time. I'll explain later. Now let's hurry. At this point of space-time? That's bizarre. What? Um, sorry, lion cub. Would be... Should I even bother with those dinosaurs? What's all that noise? A lion, let's help him. What? I guess the dude, this robot is like Mr. Nice Guy. Okay. Oh my gosh, these guys are gonna be rough pickings, I think. Oh, no, no, okay. It looks like they're going down with some reasonable not badness. Oh, as long as I mash that bite button like a champion. Hopefully, this isn't going to be, like, protecting the lion cubs as a lion, where... Oh, I thought I had him. It's like he's, like, one hit from death. There we go. Look at that. Dinosaurs ain't got nothing on robo-dogs. It's because dinosaurs are from billions of years ago, 
and Robo Dogs are from the fucking future. Urgh. All right, that. All right, buddy, you got like one hit left. Eat it. Eat Robo Dog teeth. I guess they're not teeth because they're not like made of enamel and stuff, or made of bone and enamel. I guess enamel's over the bone. I don't know how teeth are comprised. I'm not in a dentist or an anatom anatomist, a biologist. Satisfied now. Thank you, but I can't work out where these dinosaurs are coming from. How is this even possible? They must have been sent here from the prehistoric times to satisfy the law of conservation. What? Okay, this future dog is stupid. He obviously doesn't understand, so don't worry, the solution lies in the plenary mission. Let's keep moving quickly now. This is a long mission. I'm gonna be honest. I'm probably gonna have to divide this mission up. In fact, I'm saying that now, but if you're if you're watching this, you're probably already into like the second episode, just because this is like the longest mission I think I've faced so far. Oh my gosh. Alright, sleeping dinosaurs. Can I okay, I can't I was hoping maybe I could like one shot the sleeping dinosaur. But I guess realistically that wouldn't make any sense. Oh, we have two dinosaurs now. Dinner sores. Dude, I wanna get rid of this other one. This one already has his health severely reduced, and he's trying to get away like a wuss, but oh technically they're kicking my ass. These dinosaurs are way harder than the other dinosaurs. Ugh! Dude, oh this could be bad. I'm not gonna die against dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are nature's total wuss. Everyone knows that. Look, I mean look, they get stunned by a robo dog. They obviously suck at battle, and I'm obviously the king of the jungle, which we've already confirmed in this mission, that Robo-Dogs... Oh, you know what, if I don't have to mess with that dinosaur, I'm not gonna mess with that dinosaur. Anything that I can just walk past, I will take the opportunity. In fact, this... I like how... Oh, okay, it's a jackal. I was like, I like how I... Or it's a... Lycaon. A Lycaon. I don't even know how to pronounce that. It's a Lycaon or a Lycon. Lycan. Probably a lichen. But anyways, I was like, I thought that was going to be a lion cub, and I'm like, so at one point I'm saving lion cubs, and then two minutes later I'm killing them, but that's obviously not what happened. Cool. Dude, these, these things are fighting like way more viciously than they do in uh, survival mode. I guess it's the programmed AI, because this mission's got to be tough. I, there's never been some tough fights in this mission. Nothing as tough as... The jackal, like the jackal boss, or was the hyena boss, and the saber tooth tiger, which blew my mind that those fights were back to back. Like when I got to that point in the game, and those two fights literally came one after the other, and if you failed the hyena fight, you had to redo the jackal fight. I was kind of oh, so it's like the lesser of two evils. They're like, do you want to take on a pack of uh, lichens, or do you want to take on a freaking oh, and the dinosaur saw me anyway. This is bad now. I... we I've made mistakes. This could get really bad really fast, because that dinosaur is going to stay on me. Maybe we'll get lucky and the wolves are going to attack the dinosaur? Okay, nope. Oh, are they? Oh, come on, lichen! Lichens! Oh, the dinosaur's eating the lichen! Well, that's perfect. But now he's like, I need more to fill my belly of hatred and rage. Dude, okay. Ugh, stop! Oh yeah, fight the lichen! He did fight the lichen for a second, that was fortunate. Alright, oh, I didn't get the evade. If I had gotten that evade off, I would have gotten a free hit on him, but right now he's backing up. He's backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up, and I'm gonna kick his ass! That's not how the real song goes. In fact, that song's copyrighted, I shouldn't even sing parts of it. I get in trouble with YouTube.gov. YouTube.gov, Facebook.gov, and Twitter.gov. Now with 100% more government spying on you. Oh. Ah, oh, whatever. Screw this. We're doing it the old. We're doing it old school. I don't even care about taking these guys out like a champion. Clean kills or nothing. I'm a fucking robot. Robots don't care about clean kills, my friend. They care about paying the bills, the death bills, because that's that's how robots pay their bills is by killing things. Like that's a little known fact. Is that, um, well, dude, this this one is like the boss. He's way bigger than the other ones. And he's got way more. Oh, yeah. Dude, this one's a beast. We gotta get we gotta get him off the map and into the history books, am I right? Because we want him dead. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna kill this jerk. 
Although, I'm also gonna kill his little min minions. Minions! His little minnows. Dude, this guy has like infinity billion health. That's way more health than I need him to have right now. I need him to have somewhere in the range of zero to zero. Or I guess negative health, health would work. I don't know. Okay. Oh man, dude, look at this. I was, <laughs> as I'd be like, I can just walk between these two hyenas, but my theory was, oh, these are all. Every pack has a boss at this point. Yeah, they really are. They're laying it on thick, my friends. Plus, do you see, there's more flying dinosaurs over there, off in the distance. Am I the only one? Dude, come on, this guy. This thing is. This is like. I think this might actually be the same boss that I faced in um, the. Tosa mission, but it's one of those situations where because the robot is so much stronger, it's actually a much easier fight. Dude, and this guy doesn't even want to mess with me. He's afraid. Well, I'll make him not afraid, because you can't be afraid if you're dead. Look at that. What is that? Do you see that over there, up in the up in the corner? It's totally... What? Is that a giant dragonfly? Oh my gosh. Things are getting insane. I wonder if I want to kill it, but that is so cool! This game is just awesome! I mean, I already knew that, but it like seems to get continually more and more awesome with dinosaurs, robots being raised by wolves, giant dragonflies, apparently time travel, and mystery. Plenty of mystery. Dude, I know where they're going to send me because I've already been to the facility. It's in the sewers! And actually, this is the closest entrance to it, though, so... Like, they could have just sent me all the way through the sewers and I could have gotten to it. Is the signal any stronger now? Wait, let me actually check before you ask me that question. See, look at this. Future Robot Dog thinks that things can get brought to the future from the past by the conservation of mass. He thinks that I can know what my scan is going to say before I do it. Future Robot Dog is stupid. This is where the transition transmission seems to be coming from. Somewhere underground. That's the, my dog's voice now. Is like a like a a wash a, a washed up old detect like old film noir detective. Well done, ERC double. Oh, except that's the other dog. Let's go to the underground. Everyone needs to have voices. That's not necessarily true. Sometimes I stick with that for a game for a while, and I just get like finished. I'm like, no, I can't do this. They sure are milking their sweet time getting underground. I could have done that way faster. I would have been stamina jumping like a motherfucker. Left and right, Piach. Well, technically not left and right. Mostly just... Mostly just right, because that was the direction they were going. This is it. This is the elevator. Dude, I've been down this elevator before. I, I'm telling you. We're moving out. Rough. <laughs> bark. Adorable dog bark. Alright, are you ready for, like, the biggest, big bosses this game has ever had? Except for there's one more story mode after this, so... And who knows, maybe there's, like, bonus storyline. I don't know. Mission complete- oh, so the last mission is that area! Awesome! Well, I'm really excited to record the next episode then, so with that, this has been Rakdar. Thank you for watching.